Hello students, today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter number 6. It's called factorization of algebraic expression. Now we are going to begin with the practice set 6.1. The first practice set, it says factorize. And the first question is x square plus 9x plus 80. Now you have to split the middle term over here. Now while before doing that, you also have to uh, consider the last term. So now you have to split the middle term in such a way that the product of those two numbers into which you are splitting the middle term should be equal to the last term. For example, now you have 9x over here. So now I need two numbers. In place of 9x, I need two numbers wherein if I add or subtract, it should be equal to 9. And the product of those two numbers should be equal to 18. For example, if we see 18, we have 6 3s are 18. And we have 9 2s are 18. Okay. Uh, so 6 3s are and 9 2s are. So now we have to take one out of the one combination out of this. So that you know uh, when you add on or subtract you should get 9. Okay. Now we have the product 6 3s are 18. 9 2s are 18. If I take 9 and 2. I If I add or subtract I am not going to get 9. If I take 6 and 3. If I add 6 and 3 I will get 9. So I will take this combination. Okay. So what should I take? 6 and 3. Now if to see with signs. If I put minus and plus, then what I'll get is I, I'll have to subtract. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put plus and plus both the ways. So now 6 plus 3 is 9 positive sign. So I'll have to take plus 6 and plus 3. So I'm going to split the middle term 9x as 6x and 3x. So a second step is going to be x square. I'll write 9x as 6x plus 3x plus 18 okay so now make two groups now here what is common here you have x square and here you have 6x so x is common take x outside what remains inside x 1x has already gone out so out of 2 only 1 remains so 1 that x i'll put then plus sign from here this x has gone out so what is remaining 6 so x plus 6 remains inside now here in these two numbers what is common? 3 is common because here you have 6 into 3, right? So 3 is common. So I'll take 3 out. What remains inside? x plus, now from 18, 3 has gone out. So what is remaining? 6, x plus 6. Now here you have x plus 6, here you have x plus 6. So x plus 6, six is common. So right, take one bracket as common and whatever remains outside the bracket, put that in the other bracket see x plus 3 so you have x plus 6 in one bracket and whatever is out that forms the other bracket that is x plus 3 okay i hope this is clear now we'll do sum number 2 sum number 2 says x square minus 10x plus 9 now here what you have to do is you have to break minus 10x that is you have to split the middle term and the product of those two numbers should be 9 so now uh, the factors, so 9 ones are 9 and 3 threes are 9. Okay, these are the two pairs. Yes, 3 threes are 9 and 9 ones are 9. So I have to take any one of the uh, any one of these so that when I add or subtract, I get 10. If I take 3 and 3, if I add 3 and 3, I get 6. If I subtract, I get 0. So I cannot take this combination. Now 9 plus 1 is 10. So I think this will work. So, we will take 9 and 1. Okay, 9 and 1 have to the signs now. So, if I put minus here and minus here, what happens is minus minus, it's, uh, it's going to be plus. So, add 9 and 1, it becomes 10 and sign of the greater number, so minus. So, basically, I will have to take minus 9 and minus 1. So, what I do is x square minus 9x minus 1x. So, instead of 1x, I will just write x plus 9. Now, take two numbers in a group now here take x common what x as x is common over here see between these two num uh, these two terms x is common so now x remains inside one x has gone out the other x remains inside minus 9 okay from here there is nothing common so i'll take one out now here what happens is we have x now when you take 1 out so here it's x minus 9 we need x minus 9 here also i'll write x minus 9 but this is 
plus, right? Here it is positive sign. So we can't put minus sign here. So what we'll do is we'll take minus sign outside. So when I take minus sign outside, minus into minus is plus. So when I open the bracket, it automatically becomes plus. So I take minus 1 outside. So now what happens is x minus 9, x minus 9 forms one bracket. And whatever is left out, that is x minus 1 forms the other bracket. Now let's do another sum, third sum. And the question is y square plus 24y plus 144. I have to break 144. We all know that the square root of 12 is 144. So 12, uh, 12 into 12 is 144. Okay, if, if we add 12 and 12, we get 24. So we need plus 24. So 12 and 12 signs will have to put plus only. So plus 12 plus 12 gives me plus 24. So basically, I need to break 24y into 12 plus 12. So it will be y square plus 12y plus 12y plus 144. Now form two groups. Okay, so what is common here? Y is common here. So y goes out. What remains inside? 1y has gone out. So 1 is still remaining. 1 plus 12. Now, here, here 12 is common because this is 144. So, basically, 144 is 12 into 12. So, 144 is 12 into 12. So, 112 from here and this 12 goes out. So, 12 is plus, that is positive 12 we are taking out. If you don't put the positive sign, it's okay. It's understood. What remains inside? Y plus 12. Okay. So, one bracket will have Y plus 12 and the other bracket has those Terms which are outside that is y plus 12. Sum number 4. Sum number 4 says 5y square plus 5y minus 10. Now here what you do is you take 5 common outside. Okay. The, usually the first term was only, uh, only the alphabet, only the variable. You didn't have the coefficient for the first three sums. But now we have the coefficient. Now we have 5 here. So what we'll do is we'll take 5 common. So what remains inside? y square plus y minus 2. Now y2, it's 5 twos are. 5 has already gone out, so 2 remains. Now let this 5 remain out only. We'll, we'll take this as a term, now this whole thing. So now I have to break 2 in such a way that we get 1. So, But obvious 2 ones are 2. We have only one combination, 2 and 1. Now put signs in such a way that you get plus 1. If I do this, plus 2 and minus 1, I get plus 1 because the operation is going to be minus and the sign of the greater number. So I get plus 1. So our combination is plus 2 and minus 1. So now just look at this thing. Keep this out as it is. y square. So I am writing the middle term, breaking the middle term. 2y minus 1y minus 2. Okay. Now, 5 remains out. This is one group and this is one group. Okay. So, y is outside. What remains in? y plus 2. I want y plus 2 in the other bracket also. Okay. But then there, this is y minus 2. And there is nothing common. Nothing common. So, 1 comes out common. If I want plus and it is minus. So, I take minus out. Okay. So, now what we have? 5 common outside. 1 which is there y plus 2, y plus 2. And the other bracket will have y minus 1, which is outside. Minus 1. Okay. So now let's do uh, the next sum. Next sum is fifth sum. Fifth sum is easy. Once you do all these four sums, you'll be able to do the fifth sum. I'll do sum number 10 now. Now it is 2x square plus x minus 45. Now, here, I can't take anything common out. So, what I have to do is I have to multiply this coefficient with this. So, 45 minus 45 into 2 is 90. Okay. So, I have minus 90. Now, when I multiply this, now usually we used to break the last term. Now, we have to break 90. Multiply first and the last and break that thing. So, I have to find the factors of 90 now. So, for 90, I can say 10 into 9, okay. I also have 18 Pfizer. 
uh, now which one is better i feel this is better for us because i need one right in the in the uh, middle in the center i need one so i think this combination works well so we have 10 and 9 but now what should we do where to put the signs i need plus 1 so what i do is i'll put positive here i'll put negative here so 10 minus 9 is 1 and since the greater number is 10 so the positive sign i'll get so the combination is going to be plus 10 and minus 9 so 2x square plus 10x minus 9x minus 45 that means the middle term i have written as plus 10 and minus 9 now take two terms in a group now here what is common 2 is common because 5 2s are so 2 is common and x is also common what remains inside 2x is gone out so only 1x remains inside plus it's 5 2s are no so 2 has already gone out so 5 remains inside x has also gone out see here I've taken it common. Now here also I need x plus 5. Now what is common here? 9. Because 9 here and 9 fives are 45. So 9 I've taken but this is plus, this is minus, I'm taking minus out. Okay. So one bracket will be x plus 5 and the other bracket is going to be 2x minus 9. Now a sum number 11 we'll do. Sum number 11 is 20 x square minus 26x plus 8. Okay. Now here we can do one thing. We can take two common outside because see two tens are, two thirteens are and two fours are. So let's take two common outside. So what remains in? 10x square minus 13x plus 4. Now how did I get this 10? It's 2 into 10. So 2 is gone out. 10, 10 remains. 13 into 2, th 2 is gone out, 13 remains, 4 into 2, 2 is gone out, 4 remains. Okay, now break this. 2 remains out as it is. So, 10 4s are 40. First and the last you multiply, 10 4s are 40. I have to break 40. I don't have to break 4 because here the first term has a coefficient. Okay, so I have to multiply with the last term and break it. So, 10 4s are is 40. Break 40. 40, I can say. 10, 4, I can say 5, 8. So, which, which combination is better? I need 13. 10 and 4 will not give me 13. 5 and 8 will give me 13. So, let's take 5 and 8. So, 5 and 8. Now, signs, which signs we need to put? If I put minus and minus, since the signs are uh, minus and minus, the operation will be plus. So, I'll get 13. And sign is but obvious with a greater number, so minus 13. So our combination is going to be minus 5 and minus 8. So 2 remains out. 10x square minus 5x minus 8x plus 4. Now form groups. 2 is as it is. Now what is common over here? 5x is common. What remains inside? 1, 5 is gone out. So 2x remains. 5x has already gone out, so minus 1. Now, here also 2x minus 1. But what is common? 4. 4 2s are 8, right? And since this is plus and we have put minus here, so we'll take minus out. Okay? Now, 2 is out. This 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1 forms one bracket. 5x minus 4 forms the other bracket. Now, the last sum, sum number 12. 44x square minus x minus 3. Now, here I can't take anything common. So, let's multiply the first and the last. So, I have 44 multiplied by 3. 4 3s are 12. 4 3s are 12 and 1, 13. So, it's going to be minus 132 basically because it's minus 3. So, I have to break 132. 132. So, we know the factors of 132. It's 11 and 12. 12 into 11 is 132. See? Uh, 2, 3, 1. So, 132. So, but then signs we have to decide. If I take 12, 11. If I put minus here and plus here, it's going to be subtraction. 1 and minus is the sign of the greater number. So, the combination is basically going to be minus 12 and plus 11. So, 44 x square 
plus 11x minus 12x minus 3. Two groups form. What is common? 11 is common because 11 fours are 44. No? So 11 is common. X is also common. What remains inside? 4 because 11 has gone out. X also has gone out. So 1x remains. Here to nothing remains because the whole thing has gone out. So put as 1. Uh, same bracket I will have it over here also. What is common? 3 is common. Why? Because 4 3 is 12. So and here also 3. So I took it out. But here minus and here plus. So I will take negative sign outside. So what, what happens is one bracket will have 4x plus 1. This thing. And the other bracket is going to have 11x minus 3. I hope this is clear to you.